portion of Vaera, Moshe complained to God, how can I go talk to Paro when I am oral svasayim? I have a closed mouth. Moshe, of course, had a speech impediment. It's a known, well-known story. God said to him, don't worry. I will make you for an Elohim. I'll make you for a God to Pharaoh. The Medrash relates that when Moses entered the throne room of Pharaoh, and all the ministers were sitting there, and all the princes with their crowns saw Moses and Aaron, they took off their crowns and prostrated themselves before Moses and Aaron. Moses did not need to say a word. But because the Almighty promised him that I will go with you, as we see in the beginning of next week's portion, it says, by al paro, which is translated not go to Pharaoh, but come with me to Pharaoh, that the Almighty was with Moses. And it was apparent to all, to such an extent, that when Moses did what God wanted, the greatest superpower prostrated itself before him. The Jews have been living in lands not their own for several millennia. We have survived, and now we are flourishing. A Jew should know that wherever they go, they are the representative, the Moses, for that time. Right now in this spot, this Jew is this representative of God in the world, just like Moses. And he shouldn't think, who am I to open my mouth? I am oral sphosayim. I have a sealed mouth. Who am I to talk in these people? These are important people. We should know that it might be that you don't even need to talk because Hashem is doing the work for us. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.